There's a float holding this hook up. I can adjust that length any way I want. This is really an educational video. This will apply to a lot of different fish that feed off the bottom. Uh, this is in slow motion now. You can see how he took that. Now he's looking down right where my weight's at. I have a six ounce weight right there. You can see the bait in his mouth that I had on that hook. And there he goes. And so this is one way I want to show you really what happened. It's, it's in slow motion. You can see him coming. I took the green out using my Photoshop. And so these are just screenshots that I took. It's quite slow. I've learned a lot about this. I was thinking that maybe I had this hook too high and it might not catch him. I didn't really realize that a sturgeon will take bait up this high. I thought that they would take bait that was laying down. He opens his mouth really wide and he sucks this in. So you suck that in, he's going to close his mouth, and he's hooked. Now you can see the swivel I have. Underneath that swivel, there's a six ounce pyramid weight. It's completely covered up in the soft mud. And he's moving along. And how he tells where his food's at, I'm not sure. But he thinks that there's more food down there right where my weight is and that swivel's at. And so he's going to open his mouth again. He doesn't even know he's hooked. Now right there you can see my weight, I mean my float, I keep calling it a weight, it's a float, it's a peg float, it's about three inches, he's got most of, I had like a four inch or five inch leader somewhere around there, he's got most of that leader line in his mouth right here, you can see the float real well you can see my leader line going through that float there's a peg that locks it where I can lock it wherever I want if I want a three inch leader a four inch leader a five inch leader I can do it so I can adjust that whether I want it on the bottom or up I had it up about four or five inches here so now you can see him starting to open his mouth underneath He's creating all of this ruckus that I call dust. It can't be dust, but it's it acts like dust under there. Now he's op his mouth is wide open. He's trying to get something there. And now he, when he opened his mouth, that leader came out. So you can see the leader has gone up and the float's gone up, but he's still hooked. He's Look pretty good. Now he's going to start closing his mouth again. And see all the dust that he's creating. His mouth is closed. In the first part of the video, you saw how fast he was moving. Here we've slowed it down so he can kind of study what he does. Right here you can see all, all of that dirt that's in his mouth. He's going to have to open his mouth up to clean that dirt out. You 
can see the line, the leader going down into his mouth that's got the hook on it and that still has the bait on it. The whiter, whiter he opens his mouth, the more dirt that comes out of that mouth. Now you start looking close inside his mouth and you can see my bait. I have a little tiny fish that I had tied on. And there it is. There's the fish. And in a second, the tail of that fish is going to pop out. But the hook is still up there. It's hooked in into his mouth. We use barbless hooks, so it's really easy to unhook them. We can't take these fish out of the water. They have to stay in the water after we catch them. He still doesn't know he's hooked. Now he's starting to close his mouth again. And it won't be long and he's going to figure out that he's hooked and he takes off like crazy taking drag so you can see the swivel right here the pyramid weight is still in the ground but it won't be there very long it's, he's starting to come up starting to move that there and he's taking off. This is in the same picture. Just I just want to thank you for watching it and I hope you learned something about sturgeons.